Welcome, my name's Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Hebrews 4 and 8 For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward have spoken of another day. Verse 9 There remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. That's in the finished work of Christ. Verse 10 for he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. Now, oh my goodness, what a beautiful per passage. He's previously spoken about the Sabbath and how God used the Sabbath and all the rest of it. And then he went into law and now he's come out of law. And the point that he's tried to make through all of this, that in the finished work of Christ, you have entered the Sabbath, the eternal Sabbath for time and an eternity. The Sabbath where there's no work you need to do to make peace with God. It has been done through the finished work of Christ. For he who has entered Christ's rest, which is God's rest, has himself also ceased from his or her works, as God did from his. Now this is about your position in God through the finished work of Christ. There's no more work or effort or thinking or anything else you need to do to worry about whether you're at peace with God or not. And that goes for time and eternity. And that there is a beautiful crescendo to the complicated journey we've gotten to get there let's say this together you say it after me through the finished work of our lord jesus christ i have entered god's rest i have also ceased from my works as god did from his. Verse 11, Hebrews 4. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. Now, isn't that interesting? Most religions, look, so many cults and religions tell you to be diligent about doing something. This beautiful verse of Hebrews chapter 4, 11 says, Let us be diligent to enter the rest, to be confidently assured that the finished work of Christ has given us peace with God for a time and eternity. And this is why he says, let us therefore be... Oh, this, is this is beautiful. This is the gospel. This is as good as the gospel can get. This is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the good news. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And he's talking about the people that were under the law that were sadly destined to fall. And he's giving us a warning. If we think there's anything, honestly, please, please listen. If we think there's anything we need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad, we will fall according to the same example of their disobedience, because rules for righteousness can only produce disobedience. Verse 12 of chapter 4, everybody should know this off by heart. For the word of God. What is the word of God here? It's the finished work of Christ. It's a revelation of the finished work of Christ, and that that's given you peace with God for time and eternity, and you should have assurance of that. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even between the division of soul and spirit. So you do have a spirit, Jehovah Witnesses, you do have a spirit. And joints and marrow, just as equally as you have joints and marrow. And there is no cre oh, joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now, what you've got to realize here, and we're coming to a close, is that the finished work of Christ helps you to discern the thoughts and intents of your heart. And I want to close with this as a confession. Say this after me. For the word of God 
is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of my heart. And on that note, we have to close. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.